We're going to be programming a new smart key to this vehicle using the Chrysler Security Gateway Bypass Cable. On the Pacifica, I'm going to show you two places to plug in the wires. The first one is located right here in the clip behind this kick panel on the passenger side. The second one is located on the passenger side by the rear seat behind this door. This one is easier to access. However, the standard Smartbox bypass cable will not reach all the way here. You will need an extension cable. So the first place I'm going to show you is over here where the standard cable will reach. So the first piece you need to remove is this piece of trim right here. So you just get a flat head underneath here and you can pry it up. Then you can pull it up and outward. From there you'll be removing this piece. I usually just start right here. Start prying it up from the edge. And then after you get it popped loose, you'll be able to pull it back out. So I'm gonna pull that off real quick. All right, once we've got this trim piece out of the way here, we're gonna be looking for this black clip with the, the gray release lever. We're gonna to need to get this removed from the sidewall here. So if you take a flathead and come down from the top behind it, you can free the, the locking tab and then slide it downward to release it from the side here. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Once you have the clip freed, you want to turn it around and you want to plug into these two wires here. One is white with a blue stripe and one is white with a green stripe. You're going to want to plug your CAN L wire into the white with the blue stripe and your CAN H wire into the white with a green stripe. I'm going to go ahead and get those plugged in real quick for you. All right. So that's how you want to have it for when you're using this location here. You want your CAN H on the right and your CAN L on the left. And now I'm going to show you the other location over here. To remove this door, it's going to want to get a flat head under the corner. Pop it off. And our wiring is going to be right here in this top row. Same thing, can L on white blue, can H on white green. I'm going to plug in real quick to show you that. All right, there it is plugged in. Can H on the left, can L on the right in the top row. Now remember you only have to plug into one of these locations. Um, this one is obviously easier but you will need an extension to your bypass cable to reach this location. Now I'm going to go plug in my smart box to the OBD port. All right, so we'll go ahead and plug our bypass cable into the OBD port. All right, and our smart box cable into the extra OBD adapter. All right, now we're going to go ahead and open up the application and select our year, make, and model. Okay, we're all hooked up. We're going to be using option CJD BP08. First, we're going to need to read the PIN code. One nine two one three. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we'll check out the new key. Done.